Headlines uh, on all the market stories this morning have got Ebola in the title of them. Um, is, that, is that pushing it a little bit far? Are we using that as an excuse? Um, I think it's probably a, a potential trigger for a, a broader sell-off. I think people are really worried about um, a potential black swan and have got no idea how to price it. Um, I think they've probably uh, have read a few too many books this uh, summer and uh, are worried about the fictional tale of this. Uh, but I guess it could spread wide and I think that's why um, it's used as a headline uh, for any sort of market sell-off. All right, is the shakeout done in the market? No, I think we've got a little bit further to go. I think uh, further economic weakness um, is probably coming out. Um, earnings figures are so-so, uh, and this Ebola is still um, making headlines. So I think we're going to have a rough couple of weeks, but ultimately towards the end of the year, I think we should be higher um, pending Ebola not turning into a black swan. So, so a good time to buy now? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think you, you have buy now in a medium term view, you, you probably have to be prepared to see it go offside and I wouldn't be surprised to see another couple of uh, days where we see three, four hundred point moves down on the uh, Dow, but um, picking an entry point is always very difficult, but if you t have a medium view, I think now it does represent value. How have you felt, how have your clients felt about the, the results so far? We've had, had lots out this week. I mean, it seems to me the industrials have been pretty mixed. The banks have looked okay, and we've got these stress tests coming up, of course, as well. What, what's your view overall of, of, of what we've had? Well, I think uh, we're seeing clients playing it on the uh, short side. Anything that's good news or okay and hits expectations, people say, well, um, there's a weakening economic picture, so maybe that's just the last quarter and we're going to see further weakness. And anything that is weak, we see uh, this, is, this is the economic weakness coming through. So it does seem to be um, a negative play. Um, like you look at the banks, they have been broadly in line, but people don't want to hold them at the moment, uh, especially with the stress test coming out on Sunday. Um, GDP, uh, uh, seven tenths pretty much in line. Um, what are you, glass half full or empty on this, given the, the let's face it, the bigger context stories of, of, of debt uh, in industrialised nations? Um, I think, well, I think the, the UK is recovering strongly. I think um, it's a sustainable recovery. I think the worst thing that could happen to the UK would have been an interest rate rise this year. That's firmly on the back uh, burner. And I think anything in the first half of um, next year will also derail the recovery. A lot of it's built on house price um, recovery and availability of credit. So um, I think um, weaker economic figures out of the UK or stuff that's bang in line probably is um, perfect for uh, the central bankers not to cut rates and see a steady sustainable growth. So uh, glass half full, but I think if we see an interest rate rise, it will derail it quite quickly.